ETFs. After asset allocation, this is the second most important concept to understand in order to be successful in the market. What is an ETF? An exchange traded fund is an index fund, which is a collection of stocks that is traded on a stock exchange. This means you can buy and sell it exactly like any other stock. However, ETFs have a much lower fee than mutual funds, which are the old way to buy indexes. For the last video, you know how much of your portfolio to commit to stocks, that is asset allocation. However, what you need to do is not buy individual stocks. Why? Individual stocks hold a greater risk than buying a collection of stocks. This is called diversification. By diversifying your stock section of your portfolio with large indexes of stocks, you are eliminating the idiosyncratic risk or single stock risk of that section of your portfolio. And that's exactly what ETS will do for you. But there are thousands of ETFs on the market with nearly every single combination of stocks possible. So which one do you get? VOO, SPY, and IVV. These three follow the S&P 500, which is a collection of 500 large companies. I highly recommend putting the majority of your money into these. Here would be an example portfolio building on what we learned from the last class. With 65% in stocks and 35% in bonds. Within the 65%, you can have any one of these ETFs or a combination of the three. Within the 35%, you have bonds. This is what we're going to go over in the next class. Throughout the series, I will recommend more ETFs for you to consider. But for now, any one of these or any combination is a good start for the stock section of your portfolio. That's all for today. Next class, we will talk about bonds to add to your portfolio. See you then.